In this video, we're going to be looking at the iCarSoft BMM version 1.0 kit for BMW and Mini cars, and we're really going to be looking at the main common questions, everything you need to know uh, before you buy this tool. So let's get into the vehicle and let's start the review. So the first question is, what is, and can you summarize what the BMM version 1.0 kit actually does? Well, this tool is a diagnostic tool, scan tool, um, OBD2 scanner, which will allow you to hook up to your vehicle and and um, maybe just diagnose any faults that you have with the vehicle. So it's kind of like a health check tool. It kind of will allow you to prevent you from having to take this car to the garage because uh, you know your time is valuable. So it allows, it puts the power into your hands and allows you to actually diagnose the main systems like the engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, do oil service resets, and you know diagnose any faults in a lot more systems than what I've just spoke about right there. Um, so it's a handy tool to have, keep it in your glove box, and uh, we certainly recommend this if your time is valuable and you, you know you want to look after your own car and save money while doing so so where to buy the tool well I'm gonna put two links in the description below this video uh, the first link is where you can pick this up at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. The second link is where you can buy this on Amazon. Now, one thing to mention about both of these links is that they are both genuine kits. Be aware of fakes on the market. Um, the two links I'm going to give you will be 100% genuine products, so you know you're going to get the correct tool if you go through one of those links. How much is the tool? Um, right now, obviously, these prices are subject to change, but if you were to go through Diagnostic World, you'd pay, I think it's £99. Uh, and if you were to go through Amazon, I think you'd probably pay about £105 or £110. You do generally pay a little bit more on Amazon. Um, so go through Diagnostic World if you do again want to save a few pounds there. Um, and how much, uh, sorry, how, how is it powered? There's the next question. Well, you'll see here we have a cable running through the top of the diagnostic tool. And if we unscrew this, we can pull it out and it shows you that the screen goes off. So if we put it back in, the screen will come back on. So it is powered by the vehicle. It takes its power from the, the vehicle battery and this cable runs from one end to this tool. The cable runs right down into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. Um, the vehicle, the diagnostic port on your vehicle may be placed in different places, so uh, make sure you can find the, the diagnostic port. Now, which manufacturers does it cover? This particular tool, the BMM version 1.0, stands. This BMM actually stands for BM and Mini. So the answer is in that it covers BMW and Mini vehicles. Um, it will diagnose all other manufacturers for the engine system only via this one here, via the OBD2 or EOBD option on the menu. I'll come to that uh, a little bit later. So what systems are covered? Well, pretty much all systems. So long as your vehicle has the system installed, this kit will actually connect to it and allow you to diagnose that kit. And I'll show you an example here. So I'm just gonna go through this system going to manually select so it's giving us one of 86 different systems so you know you've got the engines you've got the fuel pumps transmission gear selectors steering tire pressures stability control the DSC the ABS park and brake um, airbags interior cameras all-around viewing lane change so there's a lot of systems there that you can actually get stuck into and in fact seeing as I'm in this screen I may as well show you that is one of the questions, what systems does it cover? So if I'm going too quick, then you can obviously just pause the video on the screen that you think is appropriate for your needs. So there we go, those are the systems that it will cover. And uh, what special functions does it have? So we class diagnostics as one type of system. Um, special functions are additional things that will change the setup of the vehicle. Um, now the only thing that this kit will do is the oil reset. So it'll diagnose all of the main faults, all of your faults in your systems, but additional to that, it will do oil service resets. So when you get a maintenance reminder due on your dashboard, this will allow you to reset that. And <clears throat> what information does it give when you get a fault? Okay, well, I've got two faults on this car, a check engine light and an airbag light. So we're gonna go in, use the tool, and we'll see if, what information we can get from these particular faults. So uh, the first one will do the check engine light and we can go DME, digital motor, diesel electronics, that is the engine system. So if we click on to fault code, 
it's giving us one of two faults here so we've got a 2HD00 these are manufacturer specific faults um, hot film air mass meter so signal open and then the other one is 25F500 intake air temperature sensor signal open so we've set this fault up in fact just to show you the type of fault you will get um, with the check engine light and what we can do is we can show you an example of this tool clearing the check engine light so we clear fault memory click OK keep an eye on the check engine light when I do this and there we go that's gone off and it says arrays operation done on screen we can do exactly the same for the airbag system we just need to scroll down to the airbag system Have I, oh no, I haven't gone past it there it is so we go read fault, we've got one of three, 93092, a bit of information, side airbag, 9309CA, 930B8F, front passengers. So again, we can just click clear fault memory. Keep an eye on the airbag light when I click OK here. That's gone off as well, erase operation done. So that is the type of information you will get. You'll get very specific information about where the fault is, um, and obviously the option to erase the codes as well. Is it a touch screen? It can give the impression it's a touch screen but it's not. You do need to use these buttons in order to you know navigate your way around the screen. How much are the updates for this tool? Well updates for this tool are free of charge. Once you've bought the tool you will always get free updates for life so long as you go through one of the links in the description below to buy it because unfortunately there are fakes and clones on the market and uh, they won't allow you to update via the free option. You may be charged for an update or you may not get updates at all if the tool is not genuine. So that's why we, we sort of stress the importance of going and picking up a, a genuine product. Uh, but you'll get free updates for life with this. Now how does this tool compare to the BMM version 2.0? Well, this is the this is obviously the 1.0, this is the BMM version 2.0 and this tool, the BMM version 2.0 does everything that this does but it, this has more special functions so this will allow you to do new battery registration, diesel particulate filler, electronic parking brakes, steering angle sensor, a little bit of injector coating and a little bit of um, ABS brake bleeding as well depending on the vehicle. Ultimately though you're going to pay more for this tool. I'll be doing the similar style of video on this exact tool so look out for that on the channel. Um, I'll put the link to it in the description but I'll, uh, you're going to pay more for this tool you pay less for this tool because this does have less functions but you know if all you need to do is do an oil service reset or you need to reset a check engine light an airbag light then there's no reason why this tool won't be good for your needs um, where can you get help and support well if you buy it from diagnostic world you come through to diagnostic world they have quick links that will hook you straight up to iCarsoft engineers um, if you buy it on Amazon, not 100% how much help and support you will get. Generally, with my experience with Amazon, is if you have a problem with an Amazon product, they won't offer help and support. They'll just simply say, um, return it for a refund. So that's not really great help, but you'll definitely get the help and support from Diagnostic World. Um, hopefully it doesn't come to help the, the need for help and support, though, because they are a good product. Um, can it print faults? It can't print directly from this. What you can do though is you can record data onto this tool so that you can record live data, record the faults and you can take out the SD card which is right there and then you can put it into your computer and then print it that way. So you can print, it's just a long-winded way of doing it. It's not really uh, user friendly if that makes any sense. Uh, languages does come in a number of languages. We click on the setup option, go to language. This just comes in English and German. I believe if you update it via the computer, you will get access also to Dutch, Spanish, and uh, French, I believe, as well. Um, let's have a look at the, uh, the box as well. Well, I guess what's in the box would be a question. So obviously you've got the main, the main scan tool unit. You get your main connection cable. This is the box here. So the box is a nice handy box, comes with all the information that you need. And then inside the box, you've got a handy pouch so you could maybe keep this inside your glove box with the tool in. You'll get a user manual and you'll also get a USB cable which allows you to run the updates on the tool itself. So it's all a nice 
compact package uh, when you receive it and as I say the the updates are really easy to do but you do need to go about uh, you need to hook it up to a computer to do that a laptop um, or a computer you know you can only do it on a Windows machine you can't do it on uh, a Mac unfortunately uh, is it easy to use it's very easy to use yes as you've saw me toggling through the menu systems you know if you've got little or no experience with using any of these tools then of course you know it's it's very easy to use just toggle through the screens as you see and you will get to where you need to be you can't you can't do any damage to the, the tool you can't do any damage to the vehicle so would I recommend it to somebody who has little or no experience the answer is simply yes um, you don't have to have any experience in using these tools whether you've got 40 years worth of experience or you know four minutes worth of experience the tool will work exactly the same for an experienced mechanic as it will for an inexperienced user and uh, what about the other menu icons so we did touch on these so obviously you've got the oil reset if we click on the battery it gives us the option to look at current battery data so you've got minimums and maximums and then live battery data so it gives you an idea of the health of the battery um, this one here the check as I mentioned earlier allows you to diagnose and reset fault codes in the engine system on any other make and model DTC lookup just gives you information on uh, fault codes so let's say you had a P0301 it tells you the information related to that fault uh, you can review your recorded data if you have recorded any uh, the setup of the tool it gives you the language the units put a buzzer on every time you press a button which is quite annoying I've taken it off uh, you can choose to log it on or log it off that's like recording the data and then clear everything and then a factory data reset help gives you basic information about these three options and then about gives you the software information on the actual tool um, does it double up as a tablet is a question we get some tools do some of don't this can only be used as a diagnostic tool it won't double up as a tablet at all um, you need to go for something like the Autel MK808 for that and how fast is delivery on this tool the delivery is one to three working days generally delivered in one or two working days though but they do say one to three just to be sure um, but as I say it is available via the links below this video I'll put links to both of these uh, the genuine products so one of them will be from Diagnostic World one of them will be from Amazon and um, yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you've maybe found something useful or learned a little bit about the tool as to whether it's going to be suitable for your needs or not. Um, but that's it for now. I hope this has helped you and we'll see you on the next video at the Scan Tool Network.